Hey you guys, Bubba Sawyer here, coming at you with another video. I found this on Timu. I was looking and came with this little ring that loosely fits in there. If you want to, you could push it and it goes all the way through. So I don't know what that's for. It didn't come with any instructions, which I'll be using bigger washers. This is for a weed eater. I watched a review of a guy that did this and this ended up being too long and was hitting the back side of his weed eater so he took and snipped a, one of these off. Thing probably weighs about three or four pounds. I'll see if my weed eater can turn it, it should be able to. Uh, the wire string that I bought works perfect, but I want to take it a step forward and see if I could find something that I'll never have to change. Because uh, it's annoying when you're out there and it's hot and you got to change the string. So I figure this will work and I won't have to worry about it no more. So... Uh, this is not an endorsement product. This is just something I bought. I gave, I think it was like five bucks for it. So, see, it, it bounced and went right through it. So I don't know what the hell that's for. That was just loose in the thing. That's just something they give you in case you need it. But there it is, guys. Good quality. This is still this feels like aluminum. Every bit of this is metal. If you wanted to, you could unscrew this, go to the hardware store, and get some smaller chain. That'd be probably a good idea to cut down the weight of it. But there it is. Still weed eater head, or any of your weed eaters. Steel is the only brand weed eater I've had. That seems to be good. I've had other brands and they're junk. So, steel uh, brand. I like in the weed eaters. I don't care too much for them in the chainsaws. But, be heavy duty. <clears throat> it should be able to turn it. As long as you keep it high throttle out of cut, it should stay turned. I don't have to worry about it bogging. But there it is. Thanks for watching.